Today, I am in air where I'm going to interview the owner of Logan the Jewelers, who's thinking to make changes and expand the shop for the first time since it opened 120 years ago. We've run out of room upstairs and downstairs in the workshop. So we have land out the back, uh, so it will give us about 40% more floor space and give us more workshop space downstairs. Uh, we'll be put on a, a new shop front, moving the door up to the pavement, fitting state-of-the-art glass uh, and uh, more up-to-date securities than, than we've already got. Mr. Logan is also thinking to refurbish the cabinets to the way they were originally in 1897. If we want to employ members of the public instead of a family member, we have to do certain things now, which would be give them a proper restroom area. It's just a necessity. As the company's grown over the last 20 years, we've kind of outgrown what we are and we just need to adapt. This is the, the third family that's, that's owned it. It was originally opened uh, in 1897 by uh, Peter Gowdy Patterson. Um, I was having rings made bigger. In the past, I think my husband bought a ring in there and I also had lost some stones out of the rings so they've replaced that and um, they just always seem friendly and that's me with my rings I now can wear. I would say the service is excellent. Reporting for UWS News, Ludovica Mutini.